Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Right, um, let me start uh, by welcoming uh, our viewers wherever you are watching us from. We continue in uh, national service uh, to challenge those on government uh, when they attempt to do things that are not only illegal but criminal in nature against citizens of the Republic of Zambia. Uh, from the day before yesterday to yesterday into the night, we have been closely zooming and watching uh, schemes that are being orchestrated under the directive of one, you know, the top office, community house and uh, some disgruntled uh, senior police uh, officers to the effect that one to try and feed into the narrative of uh, that um, the former first family could have been involved in some criminal activities at the time that the for president Edgar Chagarung was in state house there was a directive given that tomorrow the police regardless of the nature of the allegation especially the civil issues that have to do with uh, uh, somebody who misappropriated funds for the former first lady that they would want to move and inconvenience her by arresting and try to charge her with the aggravated the robbery which first of all is unbelievable uh, to every well-meaning Zambian that uh, a lady as peaceful as Mrs. Esther Lungo could even be thought of of committing such a crime of aggravated robbery. But as it were, when you have a sadist and you have sadists in government, they can go to whatever land in their desperation to justify their lives. Beyond that, we have uh, the DEC that has been pouncing on people's properties without any investigation for purposes of just making headlines and scandalizing individuals. One such case is the one for Honorable Richard Musukwa, whose properties on the Copper Belt and here in Lusaka were seized by DEC without any investigation whatsoever. Honorable Musuka did explain to them that these properties that you are seizing belong to me and they were legitimately acquired. Vehicles, some of which he got you know, at the time that he was member of parliament as well as minister, and some of which had even declared before he became member of parliament. They have since gone to parliament and they went further to the office of the chief justice and discovered that all these properties that they seized from Monogam Supra were accounted for. Now, instead of just discharging those seizure notices, they want to try and justify that there could have been something fishy about Monogam Supra's life. And they have resolved that not only Monogam Supra, but many other senior members of the party. They want to have uh, operatives of the state to start planting illicit items, drugs, and other things as a way of framing and implicating innocent citizens just because they have chosen to remain members of patriotic fund. The DEC has continued to abuse uh, citizens and mainly senior officials of patriotic fund. We have our provincial chairman for the province of Samsung, who was on the, you know, um, on the, you know, party programs in some, you know, in, in Samfi and other districts of Wapula, and the vehicle he was using was impounded by them. Uh, and they want to claim, like they are claiming with everybody, that this could be process of crime. 
and the Zambian people must pay attention to these activities that are taking place. These people are systematically working towards the paralyzing, if not destroying, institutions of government. Today we are hearing of the forced resignation of the Auditor General. And that is only a sign that the Auditor General's office is gone and compromised. Honorable Mulenga Kampamba, our national chairman, is one of the people they have put on the list to find something they can frame away from the time that she was Minister of Information, later on Minister of Community Development, Minister of, uh, you know, Livestock and Fisheries. They are searching for something they can use against these members of Patriotic Front. Yesterday, we also had uh, an unfortunate incident, which we picked days before, of even people that have never served in government, like Mr. Daniel, being searched. We may not give details, but all we know is that Ms. Aka Indechlem has given a directive that up to about 17 to 20 people must be arrested from tomorrow into next week to try and just disrupt and uh, uh, the, disrupt the, the, the attention of the Zambian people towards the challenging issues they are faced with, the high cost of commodities and all these challenges, the bills that are going to parliament which are meant to undermine institutions, I mean offices, constitutional offices that are supposed to protect the justice system of this country. All these put together, they are operating but they use PF officials and members through arrest as a disruption. So just for the Zambian people to know that tomorrow it is our mother, Madam Esther Lungu, that they are targeting. And I want to challenge state institutions, particularly law enforcement agencies, whether or not that scheme is lawful or is a directive from a politician. Thank you very much and God bless. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.